This video lecture deals with naming formulas. There's really only two types of compounds that we name. One is covalent or molecular, and the other is ionic. Covalent is the easy one, so we'll start with this. This occurs if you have two nonmetals. And remember, nonmetals are to the right of the step. If you have a covalent molecule, you name the subscripts. So if you remember, one is mono, two is di, three is tri, four is tetra, five penta, six hexa. Remember, don't mix these up with the organic names. So like four was, but four was but, so just keep that uh, straight in your mind. So if we have an example, N2O3, this would be called dinitrogen trioxide. But step one is you have to look in the reference, the periodic table, and make sure you recognize that N and O are on the non-metal side. CO2, two nonmetals, carbon dioxide. If you're given the name nitrogen trisulfide, then we should be able to write the formula NS3. So that's the easy one, the covalence. The harder one is ionic. And it's not that ionic, ionic is hard. It's just that it has multiple parts to it. So when we talk about ionic, we are talking about a metal with a nonmetal or a metal with a polyatomic ion. If you are ionic, we never name subscripts. So that's the big difference. And to write the formula, we balance charges. So if we have something like MgBr2, first I locate them on the periodic table. We have a metal and a nonmetal, so it's ionic. Never name a subscript. Magnesium bromide. Al2O3. And even though it has lots of subscripts, it's a metal and a nonmetal, so it's simply aluminum oxide. So I'm going to start writing to the left now. If I have beryllium nitrate, that 8 ending is a clue that we have to go to table E. So pause, get your reference table, open up the table E, and then let's go ahead and use the periodic table and table E to name this. So beryllium is in group 2, so it's Be plus 2. Nitrate is from table E, it's NO3 minus. A number common to both is 2, or I have to multiply nitrate by 2. So our formula is BENO3-2. The NO3 is in parentheses because we have to double all of NO3. Sodium oxalate. So pause the video, figure out its formula, and then turn this back on.
Sodium is plus one. Oxalate is C2O4 minus two. So we have the double sodium. So Na2C2O4. So now we have the ionic compounds that are binary, two elements, two different elements. We have the polyatomics. And then the last thing is using the stock system. The stock system is used when you have more than one positive ion for the metal. In which case, a Roman numeral is used if more than one positive ion. So now we have to be careful because we have to check the periodic table. You just can't name this quickly. So if I was going to name this PB SO and SO4, I know SO4 is minus 2. So in order for this to balance out, PB must have been plus 2. PB has two different possibilities, plus 2 or plus 4. So I have to name this lead Roman numeral 2 for the plus 2 sulfate. CuCl looks pretty innocent. I have a copper ion and a chloride ion. The negative ion is always for us the top number, so chlorine's minus one. So copper has to be plus one. However, copper has two possibilities, plus one or plus two. You should look, make sure you look in the periodic table. So this would be called copper one chloride. So that's our basic naming lesson. I'm going to write down seven, um, six formulas. And then I want you to pause the video and name them. And then I'm going to write three names and I'm going to want the formula. So go ahead, pause the video, and name these seven things. Metal, non-metal. So beryllium chloride. Metal, non-metal. Potassium sulfide. Two non-metals, so I name the subscripts. Nitrogen dioxide, a metal and a polyatomic, but the metal has more than one positive charge. So iron, two, nitrate, polyatomic, but the metal only has one possible charge. So magnesium hydroxide. Notice there are some polyatomics that end in ide. Two nonmetals. So phosphorus, tetra, and hydrogen becomes hydride. Now you just have three left. Go ahead and write the formulas for vanadium, five oxide, sulfur, 
trioxide and calcium hydroxide. So pause the video and then come back. Vanadium 5 means V is plus 5. Oxygen is minus 2. So the formula is V2O5. Number common to both is 10. So we doubled vanadium. Multiply O by 5. Sulfur trioxide are two nonmetals. So SO3. Calcium is plus 2. Hydroxide is a polyatomic from table I. E. OH minus. So the formula is CaOH2. So a quick review of how to name a formula. Um, that's it for this lesson, and we shall see you tomorrow in school. Bye.